Hello and welcome to my Python Mastery Series. I am Joseph Simitson. Today, in this video, I would like to show you how to work with Git and GitHub using Python. Yes. For doing this, I am gonna import a library. We will do it using Git Python library. Pip install. Git Python. Yes, uh, I, I have installed it before, so I'm not going to install it just now. So uh, you should write down these codes on your Jupyter cell and run it. Okay. Import Git, and I am going to import the repo function from Git import repo. Yes. I'm gonna import both of them. Yes, I run it and I am ready. So I'm gonna use the public repo, SageMaker experiments repo and to clone it, of course, I copy the URL and how can I import a uh, correction? How can I clone the repo? I am gonna use repo and this object, we have another method which clone from. Yes, let's take a look at the parameters. And as you can see, we have URL parameter and we copy that and let, let's paste it. Okay, and let's take a look at what else. Yeah, we have two paths. So I'm gonna clone it to my local uh, directory D. So let's write it D column slash and projects folder projects and let's uh, create a folder which uh, name experiments. Yeah, experiments. And when I run it, Okay, we have cloned it. Let's take a look at, let's take a, yes. We have an experiment folder and we have cloned it. Perfect. Okay, let's start to work with this repo, okay? And first of all, we have to create an object, repo. Let's take, let's name it repo, a variable. And Git, yes, we use Git library and inside the Git, of course, we have repo function and we create objects using, let's take a look at the inside the method path. Yes, we have to copy and paste the location of the location of the repo. So I'm gonna copy it and paste it. Okay, we have created a repo object and from now on, we can work with all the commands and functions related to Git and GitHub using this variable, using this variable. Okay, let's take a look at the status of our repo. Repo, Git, and we have a method, execute. And this is generic method, generic function. And it allows us to use all the Git commands inside the Jupyter notebook. Okay, let's write down Git status. Okay, it displays me, we are on main branch. It means master branch and blah blah yeah and we have another function another function repo git status yes this method directly gives me the same thing this is the status method and we used uh, using the execute method we direct directly write down 
our git command as a string inside the parentheses. Okay. And now let's use the pull command. It's updated, yes, but just for showing you repo git pull and yes, already up to date, of course. And we will do the same thing the, using the execute method as well. Git execute and the string as a string the traditional git command git pull okay already up to date very cool so we let's create a new branch and work with on our local branch and after that we will uh, do some changes in the repo and we will stage the uh, changed file and after that we will commit this file okay let's create a repo uh, correction create a branch repo let's use execute method execute and inside the execute method i'm gonna use git checkout dash b and let's say my branch my branch okay and let's take a look at the status if we succeed or not repo object of course and git and let's use status method yeah we have created we have succeed on the uh, my branch we are now in the my branch so let me go and inside the scripts and we have several Python folder and I'm gonna use version. Let me open, where is the open with? Okay, I'm gonna open it using notepad. Okay, let's do some changes. Let me delete the first init function. Yes, the defining of this first function, I delete it. I delete it, save, okay. We have one changes. Let's take a look at again using status repo git status. And of course, we have a file modified. Yes, in, inside the secret folder and inside, of course, version.py uh, file. There is one changes. So, how can we stage this file? And after commit, let's I, uh, I'm going to show you right now using repo git and add function. Yes, we can just, for example, of course, we can use add dot, okay? And it stage, it will stage all the changed files in this unstage area. So let's, if you want, let's use the execute method for doing the stage, the file, repo, git, execute. We will do the same thing, okay? The plain, simple git command, git, add, and dot. This is simple git command, and we will use this git command inside the execute function as a string. When I run it, yes, we, we stage this, for, uh, this uh, change full, uh, file into the stage area. Then, of course, we can commit it. Repo, git. As well, we have a commit function. Yes, we can use it, but I'm I'm not gonna use it. Let's uh, let me show you just. And my commit message. Yes, we can use committing. The, the changed file, staged file, using this command. And as well, we can use, of course, using the execute method to do the same thing. And we can uh, write down the commit message inside the parentheses after the M parameter. M equals our message, okay? So, Let's use the execute method, rep, repo, 
git execute this will do the same thing we will use git command we will use git commit dash m and uh, let me use the triple quotes here triple quotes here because one two three because the git command takes the double quotes here okay i'm gonna paste here okay we have the, the triple quotes at the beginning of the command and at the end of the command of course and inside the triple quotes we will use the git command and git yes i open a double quotes this is for the git message okay for the git message this is my commit message okay inside the double quotes here the git message is inside the double quotes and to prevent the confliction of course the python uh, allows us use the triple quotes as well okay and i use the triple quotes for the string and the double quotes for the commit messages okay when i run it yeah it commit my message it commit my change file yes it says that seven deletions and one file changed perfect and now if you want let's stay uh, let's try to push our changes but probably the repo here does not give me the access to push it because i don't have any permission to push let's try it and see the result it's it's not so important and repo git execute and let's write down the push message git push dash u and origin my branch let's take a look at and check the name of the branch yes my branch my branch okay let's try yeah we have an error message because we don't have an access to uh, yes no permission to push anything okay so we have learned how we use git commands in using the python in our jupyter notebook see you on the next video bye bye